Well, what about the work ethic of, of Gen Z? What do you guys think about this younger generation and how they work, don't work, move around job-wise, what they expect? Uh-huh. Well, I don't like stereotypes of any kind. I think there are ambitious, industrious people in your generation. There were, in our generation, there were also deadbeats. Um, it's just a very, um, you know, it's so individual. You know, if you're seeing at Dollar Tree on your timeline, that's because they're under fire after a manager in Indiana posted, help wanted, but only for boomers and not Gen Z because, quote, don't know what work actually means. And then I apologize for us closing again. My two new cashiers quit because I said their boyfriends couldn't stand here for their entire shift. Oh. Don't hire Gen Z. They don't know what work actually means. Now hiring baby boomers only. Thanks. Wow. So oh, wow. apparently they had a problem with, <laughs> yeah. I guess. Yeah. But I think they're being boyfriends way too showing general. up. Yes. Yeah, right. Yeah, you, you can't. Being you can't assume that because yes. a few Gen Z people are, they're all like yeah. that. And also, like Loki, that sounds illegal. Um, <laughs> open discrimination and bragging about it. I think Dollar Tree agreed with you because they did put up this statement. The manager in question is no longer employed <laughs> <laughs> by the company, and Dollar Tree released a statement that it did not approve or condone the sign. John's a professor, and he says his Gen Z students are lazy, less motivated, only interested in themselves, and need to socialize more that they're consumed by their phones. You say if somebody's up giving a presentation or whatever, not them, they don't even pay attention to it. They seem to want to focus on their phones more than listening and learning. So it's frustrating for me sometimes. Again, not generalizing that all students are like that, but a lot of them are on their phones while I'm talking. And are I say failing? if you need to talk on your phone, you can go outside and talk on your phone. Are they failing? No, because of grade inflation. Great inflation scares me. What, what is great inflation? They all expect they, to get A's, no matter what. But years ago, uh, it wasn't like that. Yeah. I've been teaching for almost 40 years, and I feel a lot of pressure on myself to give the students at least a C, even if they're not doing an adequate amount of work. Oh. Which, first and foremost, thank you for being like a teacher and a professor. Like, thank when you. I was in school, I always, you know, I'm not going to say I was a perfect person. Yeah, I have a little bit of attitude. <laughs> but again, I've learned also from right. your generation that I have to understand where you're coming from. Do you think we, like, waste our time on our phones, essentially? No, because I'm turning into one of you. I'm on my phone all the time now. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, he's going to the dark side. I get a message from Apple that says you, you were on your phone for five hours a day last week. I'm like, oh, oh my God, I'm turning yeah, into a Gen Z person. Uh, right. uh, Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.